What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pipes and Guitars, where I like to talk about my two loves, pipes and guitars. So today, talking about one of my favorite things ever, my local brick and mortar, the Country Squire. Today will be my top five aromatics from the Squire. What's in my Suge 551, you ask? Which I also got from the Country Squire. Well, that will be my number one tobacco pick. You gotta wait to the end of the video to find out, though. Number five. Some people are gonna disagree with me on this one. Number five for me is Black Arrow. Black Arrow, velvety black Cavendish tobacco blended with care. Great as a gentle smoke on its own or as a blending tobacco. Black Arrow has been a house favorite for decades. Black Arrow is actually a, a favorite, a number one pick of a buddy of mine, Tony's. Uh, and I really like it too. It's got to be my number five though. I got four others that I would choose over it. But still a really great tobacco. Black Arrow, number five. Number four, Seersucker. Seersucker, a sweet treat. This raspberry cream tobacco will knock your socks off. Seersucker, a burly and cavendish mixture. Sweet and tart is combined with an outstanding room note that will even have your friends craving a bowl. And I have to tell you, all of that is absolutely true. Uh, the raspberry really comes out in this. If you're a raspberry fan, seersucker is great. Uh, so give it a shot. If you, if you like those fruity aromatics, or raspberry in particular... Seersucker. It's as the raspberry is as forward as the cherry is in Colt Blood Red Moon. Give it a shot. You'll love it. Number three. Number three is gonna have to be their signature blend. A lot of you have probably smoked it. Cherokee. Cherokee. Our signature blend, a precise mixture of the choicest Virginias, pair with toasted Cavendish to create a semi-sweet blend that has a fantastic tobacco flavor and excellent daily smoke. Now, this is their signature blend from back way before John David Cole took the shop over. Uh, the shop's been in business for, I believe, 48 plus years. This is one of those blends that helped the Squire gain popularity and still a favorite for, for sure. Uh, one of the first blends I had from there was Cherokee. Still smoke it today, regularly. Really great tobacco. Check it out. Number two. Number two and number one, really close, uh, really close neck and neck for me. Number two is going to have to be one from their Middle Earth series. We have Old Toby. The choicest blend of Tobold Hornblower himself. Straight from Middle Earth, Old Toby brings together the finest Virginia and burly leaves with a generous sugar casing and a dash of Louisiana Perique. A treat for your senses and your companions. Old Toby is great, uh, okay? Matter of fact, all of the Middle Earth blends are really, really good. You may think they're a little, you know, a little on the nose because they're Middle Earth blends, I like that. I really enjoy the movie. Some of you may not, and you may not be trying them because of that. I know you guys out there, just because it's popular or named after a movie, you won't try it. You should try this. Old Toby is really, really good. It's my number two from the Country Squire. Number one. Number one's going to have to be my favorite of the Middle Earth blends, Rivendell. One of our Middle Earth series tobaccos dedicated to the works of Tolkien, Rivendell is woodsy and earthy, mildly sweet with a hint of walnut. And that is indeed what I have in my Suge 551, and I'm enjoying it very much. I've already been through I don't know how many ounces of Rivendell and Old Toby. <laughs> Just great tobaccos. Remember, this is my opinion. Some of you won't agree with me. And if you don't, let me know what you like better from the Country Squire. Have you had any of the Squire blends? What did you like? What did you try? What did you like about it? Or what did you not like about it? Let me know that in the comments. And remember, love life, smoke a pipe, and keep on picking. I'll see you next time. All right, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put a couple of videos up there for you to check out. Check them out. Remember, if you like the content you've seen here, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're growing a little bit every day. Or you can stay here and smoke with me. Yes.